Hello all you awesome people out there, my name is Kiro and welcome to this let's play of One Finger Death Punch. So for all of you guys who know the old school animation, uh, flash animation I would guess it is, uh, with the stick figures fighting against each other, and for that looks awesome, now you can actually play those kind of uh, fights. And I just have to make sure that... I just say controller, that's irritating, I can't see my mouse uh, because of that. Oh well. Then I will try to see how to play with a controller then. Or maybe I can do... Okay, I can do it like this. So... I don't know if the controller is actually better than... I will try with the controller. I played a little with the, my mouse and keyboards. And that was not easy. So maybe my controller actually is better. I will play Littles and not Survival. So... And... Start from the beginning off. I hope I can learn to do it correctly. So, as you can see, the map is huge. So, enough levels to go by. Do not the button mash. I know. Round one. You cannot move in this game. Wait for enemies to enter the zone. I know. The enemy has entered the zone. Notice how the gray enemies take one hit. Okay, so I have to press. I am pressing. Oh. Press X now to attack this enemy. Wait for enemies to approach you. Fight <coughs> using only the X and B buttons. Uh, screw you, because I can actually do, this, uh, do the side buttons to make it more efficient. Okay. X or B when enemies enter your zone. You will see the X or B zones light up when you are able to attack. I am able to attack also without that. If I just keep track of everything. <laughs> I destroyed it. Faster! Leaves you open to enemy attacks. Try not to miss. Why should I miss? And this is why this game is awesome. But again, it gets more challenging on the way, so this is an easy one. Thank you. So, but with that, let's go to something more fun. This is how many men you need to kill. This is your life. Okay, thank you. So, and I know that my commentary on this game will not be that great because. I love to do this. Oh yeah, that's also a thing. There's weapons. Sadly, that weapon is too far away for me to get it. Oh, he has knives. Now we have a weapon. That's the fu uh, funny thing about having a weapon. That's to get a boost in your range. Uh, range. And done. You are rewarded with a medal if you miss less than ten times. Thank you. On to the next then. Okay, mug round is fairly easy. That's just doing like this. In the combat zone, buttons move slowly in this zone. You say that, but they get a lot harder later on. Some brothers require you to press B and X. Uh, like it just did. Also, really love the music in this game. You engage the brother, you must defeat him before fighting other enemies. I will do that. And you're down, and you're seven more. And there we go. Actually, it's pretty easy to play with this because you just have to remember what uh, hand you have to use. Normally, when you play with two fingers um, on a, a mouse or a, a, a keyboard, it's actually harder because 
they are so uh, close together, and you're using the same hands. So here's just one side, one hand. Yeah, but that did. But I'm really looking forward to there's some really awesome death scenes you can get in this game also, so I really hope that we get some of these. And I think I made a miss. And one left. Well, I got it perfect. I thought I missed. Okay, I have one miss then. Also, I'm gonna get platinum. So let's see. Next up, we have oh a lightsaber round. It's so pretty. This is how Jedi works. You don't get any specials or something, but you will have to work it all the way through. So you can just go. Destroy your enemies by pressing X and B. And I'm on fire. <laughs> See, that's what I meant by the getting harder. So, skill is. Yeah, I made two misses. So, now we get to weapons. I can unlock. So, I will take both of them. Yeah, they can just try. Indicated below them. And again, some really nice music. But I really wish that I could. There we go! That was what I was talking about. Those nice uh, dead things. And I got hit. But you can also get them with the weaponry. Uh. There we go. Extra points. But yeah, as you saw, that is so amazing when you get those uh, death attacks. That is a nice one. Are automatically activated. When the kill requirement is met, press A to toggle skills on. Each equipped skill will become active while playing a stage. And we equip that one, so let's get the one down here. But I get into some more awesome skills later on in this game, so. If I can get to it, of course. Because. The game gets harder the more you play. Or not the more you play, but the farther you get. Uh. But again, why shouldn't it? Oh god, I just didn't see what it was. It was a brawler. <laughs> and I'm making so many misses. I'm trying. There we go. Oh God, I made a lot of misses this time. That is not good. Five. Thank you. So now we have three daggers per person. Okay. There we go. Second time. And he's down. Platinum medal awarded. Okay. So now we get into the fun parts. We have to go around. So I think I will start by going this way. Yeah. 
But there are so many uh, different modes in this game also, so... One more of these thousand ones. There we go. God, I get a lot of them. Use X and B to shoot ball into enemies. It will kill any enemy in one hit. Jump the ball back and forth to kill as many enemies as possible. The ball must be in your Oops. Or B zones. Um, I kind of um shoot the ball far, far away. Ball of death. Destroy him. <laughs> uh, I really love that ball. Thank you. So, but no unlockables in this level, so on to the next one. I think I will go to the nunchuck round. Um, uh, so you can see how that is also. I have a thought now. I don't have a sword anymore. Okay. Oh, that is one of the nice ones. Uh, you can use almost any weapon to do that. And did it. I did good. If I might say so myself. So I will go for this one and the next one and then I will end it. Oh yeah, that's also something. The better you do, uh, the more faster the move. You can see the uh, speed up in the top um, left corner. Enemies drop weapons for you to pick up. X or B when a weapon is in your attack zone to pick it up. When I know. You your attack range, if you already have a weapon of the same type, you will be able to throw it. You can only use a weapon for a short time. Drop a weapon, remember, if your attack range is I get a, get a lot, I think. And the last one. <laughs> I love how one. What the fuck was that? Well, but not perfect. Because I got hit. So, not took around. It's more like the, the lightsaber, so. But still. Ow. And yeah, as I told in the beginning, you can't button smash, so if you are smashing the button, you will have a button. So that's also a nice addition, so don't just smash the way everything. And we're almost there. Of course. And there we go. Sadly, I think I got a miss and a hit. So, but I will leave this um, um, episode here. Um, but um, please tell me in the comments uh, down below if you want to see more of it or just give it some likes and I will know that you want more of it. Uh, because else it's just more of the same but it's getting harder and difficult and they get more new enemy types that has a different way of attacking and some other modes. But um, yeah, as I said, Tell me down in the comments below if you want to see more of this game because I will definitely play more of it on my own if you don't want to see it. So, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this episode. You can give it a thumb up if you did. You can hit me up on Facebook or Twitter or write a comment down below. You can subscribe for more awesome videos. And I hope you all will have an awesome day. So until next time, farewell. We are having problems with the control chip. We have little time. We must finish construction on schedule. We must hurry. I 
I don't like what. Is that more coins? And. New DLC pack. Top hat pack. Classy. And. <laughs> I'm just killing all the sheep. <laughs>